Yeah, my name's Jared, I'm 21 years old. I was born in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. Growing up, I didn't have a father. He was an alcoholic. My mum provided us as much as she could in that time. I was a good kid until I started to hit high school, I guess, and then I started to hang around the wrong crowds, started to jig school, started to smoke pot from the age of 12. That led to a life of crime and other drugs. I was in and out of detention centres and jails from a young age. I didn't know much to do with myself from there. I was continuously thrown out of home, slept on the streets or out of mates. Cops put an AVO on me and my mum for a year. I started to lose control. I moved out, moved into a trap house. I slept with a knife underneath my pillow just in case something went down. I started joining gangs and crews to be a part of what I called a family because mine threw me away. I was after acceptance in life and I found that on the streets. I was in and out of jails and detention centres from a young age. I didn't have much going for me. Um, I just kept reoffending over and over again and a number of numerous amount of times, different charges, different crimes. I remember a few times I came close to death and I didn't care about dying because I wanted to live that life. I wanted to live that life of not caring, not thinking about what people thought of me. I just wanted to be a part of what I thought was a family or what I thought was something better for my life. Um, I needed help but I refused it everywhere I went until I started going around or someone from church come up to me and invited me to a church event. I went there. I didn't think much of it as somewhere to waste time or someone for a free feed. I ended up going. The pastor that night was preaching something called an altar call. I put my hand up. Someone from the church came over and prayed with me. Something that night went through my body and I could feel it. I believe it was the Holy Ghost himself telling me, telling me that I had to change my life or I'd die in hell for eternity. Since then, my life's changed dramatically. I stopped smoking, I stopped doing drugs, I stopped drinking, I stopped doing crime. It's the longest I've ever been out of trouble since I can remember. I've got a group of friends in church that I trust whole life's changed dramatically. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just happened so quickly. I've been in church now for four months. I've moved out of home. I'm moving in a place where I'm learning to become a pastor to inspire other people to change their lives. If Jesus can change my life, Jesus can change yours.